Good morning everyone. Uh, today in this episode we're going to talk about Venturi Tees, what they do and uh, how to build them. Um, this is Venturi Tee. Actually this bit here is the Venturi Tee, but the whole piece in and out and the airline make up the whole, the whole setup really. Um, it's pretty simple overall. It's just a bit tricky to get going on your first, uh, on your first run really. Um, the basics of it, how it works, is on the longer end of it here. The water comes in this side. It gets reduced down, and when it gets reduced down, uh, the pressure it, it gets a low pressure system per se, um, and then it goes through into the venturi T, where there's an air restriction, and then as soon as it comes out at the venturi T, this is where the uh, pressure goes from low pressure to high pressure. And that's why you get the air mix into the uh, system. As it comes out, you get the water and air mix. Ideally, you want to have it in uh, nice small bubbles. If, there's, if the bubbles tend to be large, it will work. It's just not as efficient as it, uh, as it really could be, ideally. And uh, some people might notice I have a long piece of hose here. You don't have to have the, a long bit like this. Um, obviously, you need to have it as long as uh, depends on how far down you put your venturi in the bottom of your fish tank, middle of the fish tank, or top of the fish tank. Uh, because you need to have your hose, the top of the hose has to be at least above the high water line of your fish tank. Otherwise, you're going to have problems if the power turns off or you turn the pump off. Uh, the water is just going to leak out of the top of your air line. Um, but I have mine long and make a loop out of it. The reason I do that is uh, it cuts the, it muffles it down like almost like a muffler. So you don't have that uh, hissing sound all the time. Some people don't mind it and don't care, but uh, whatever works for, for everyone. Every person's a bit different. All right, uh, so what I'll do is uh, I'll break this one down and uh, show you exactly how, uh, what bits you need and how to construct it. All right, so I got the the basic of the system broken down and you can see uh, see all the bits here hope you guys can anyhow it's a bit sunny uh, sunny today but we'll start with the uh, with the in bit of the line this is a uh, essentially it's a 25 mil I'll, I'll bring it closer 25 mil on one side 25 mil on the other side there is an insert here that uh, that I couldn't get out it, uh, it's in there quite good but essentially it goes from 25 25 coupler that's uh, so I can attach the 25 mil pump line into the uh, venturi and on this side it is a 25 mil reducer going from 25 on this side down to 20 uh, down to 20 on this side and that allows me to hook it up directly on my uh, low pressure uh, reducing line and that's this bit here Ideally, it's about uh, six to eight inches long. Um, it could be a little bit shorter, but I wouldn't uh, shorten it too much. Um, probably a minimum four inches or five inches. So that line runs like that. And then what it does is you need to run it into your T. Just like so. So you go from 25, you go from 25 mil with the reducer 25 to 20 down into a 20 mil pipe into a 20 mil uh, T and then from the 20 mil T you have you want this bit to be as short as possible so I have a small piece of uh, a small piece of 20 mil pipe into a 20 mil by 25 uh, reducer and then back in to a 25 mil line and uh, I mean you could uh, some people do go down from uh, let's say 25 into a 15 and that works well um, as well but I find it uh, reduces the flow amount quite a bit and you don't get really any extra air uh, coming out of it I tried it originally going from 25 down to a 15 but um, I didn't like the uh, the output flow on it, it just uh, just hit the pump too hard I went from going from 31 uh, 3100 liters um, down to I think it was uh, 20, 2650 or 2675 something like that 
but on this one I'm going from 3,100 liters per hour uh, and I'm only breaking down to 3,000 uh, 3,085 liters per hour I uh, just did a calculation on filling up a, a 200 liter barrel how long it did and uh, timed it on that system anyhow um, so really this is the basics of the part now for the important the important bit this is uh, this is the airline and uh, as I said I mean this this could be you know one inch above this two inches above it four or five whatever you want as long as the top of the hose is above your uh, high water line on your fish tank or high water mark you don't want it to be lower than that because uh, you might end up having problems when you shut the pump off or if there's a power outage it, uh, you're going to have water everywhere but ideally make this uh, you know a couple feet extra long you can see I've got it down there like that um, and the reason for this is uh, it just muffles the sound completely you don't you don't hear anything really um, and that's quite a, that's what I want I live on a rooftop with uh, neighbors and uh, I don't want anybody else uh, to be bothered by by the sounds of my system all right and you can see what I did here is uh, I've got a threaded bit on top here and you don't really need that threaded bit that's just how this piece came uh, so it's just uh, about the same size as the hose which is uh, 9 mil I believe this hose is and it makes a really really tight fit into this fitting here so uh, you just slide it through get it through the best you can and then what you want to do is you want to cut it on a, at least a 45 degree angle I cut mine on a 60 and it worked out uh, it worked out really well I tried a few different versions of it doing the uh, the forked tongue like a snake and uh, doing a flat tip uh, whatnot like that but uh, I found just a straight uh, 60 degree cut or 50 degree tree cut uh, worked out really well and just drug a whole bunch of air into the system and uh, what you do make real you want this to be airtight so you can see there I've wrapped it with some Teflon tape and I got a few other joints here with Teflon tape as well any joints that did not uh, fit really snug I wrapped them with tape and uh, and it worked out really well for all right, us everybody now we have uh, all our bits organized here um, let's get to putting it all together all right back we got the 25 mil uh, coupling with a 25 by 20 mil uh, reducer and that goes into our 20 mil pipe like that make sure it's a nice tight fit if it's not a tight fit wrap it with some Teflon tape on this side just like that again nice tight fit and then we go from uh, 20 mil pipe into the 20 mil by 25 reducer and a 25 mil coupling for our outlet line and that goes into the T as well again make sure it's as tight as possible any air leaks you want to uh, you want to wrap up with tape for sure all right now to our uh, airline that's been cut on about a 60 degree and you slope. want to make sure you can see uh, this is here the air or the water coming this direction with this being the outlet you don't want it to be going going in like this otherwise the water is going to get caught here and shoot right out your pipe you need to reduce it or uh, reverse it sorry so that the water hits the back of the uh, back of the tongue here and uh, the 60 degree cut is facing the outlet just like that and that gets put in there nice and tight all right um, I've got it together now it uh, works out perfect for our configuration but what I want to do is I want to show you uh, another configuration that would work uh, for some other people uh, they, they can't have it coming in on a straight line it may not go through their fish tank they may need to come at, uh, come at it from up the side of the fish tank and then 90 degrees into the fish tank or come in over top of the fish tank and then shoot down onto the water uh, and what I'll do is I'll just take it apart here and show you that configuration Alright, so we got our we got our T again, just like that. What we want to do is I'm going to have 25 mil reduced down into 20. Take that pipe, and I'm going to put it on the actual T side, not the straight side. And then the outlet, which goes from 20 with the reducing coupling to 25, 
and the outlet there that goes on the bottom just like that and then you take your your cut line at 60 degrees or even 45 degrees some people like to do it at um, make sure it's wrapped in Teflon tape of course to make a nice watertight seal and again what you want is you want to have the water flow hitting uh, the back side of the cut you don't want the water flow hitting the front side of the cut and that goes in you just have. like that your 90 degree Venturi T water comes in this way gets stopped by the T it doesn't go on to go up because it's blocked with the airline as well so the easiest way which water flows is the easiest way for it is shoot down and it brings the uh, air and water mix and shoots it into your all right tank. everyone I got the uh, Venturi hooked up to our main pump line there it is there in white and it is connected through a valve as well as a, a one-way check valve there just in case uh, I have a power outage and I don't have uh, the system hooked up to our solar panels as of yet hopefully that happens well, next week there's no noise at all from the Venturi as opposed to some of those uh, loud ones yeah, you hear the, the hissing and noise and stuff like that I'll just back you into the tank there's our uh, input line there and the water and air mix working fantastic and what I'll do is I'll just grab the uh, air hose switch it off and you can see there it's uh, still flowing with water so if you need to do any maintenance or you want to take a picture of your of your fish or anything like that you just block it off open it back up and you can see the uh, the great air and water mix and again now that I have the extra long uh, air line on it there's no uh, no noise to be heard for yourself in the house or for any of your neighbors all right guys if you have any questions comments or suggestions I'd be happy to answer anything to help you get you on your build if you can't uh, if you can't seem to get yours working and you don't want to fiddle with it um, I'll have a link to our uh, website where I do sell them and uh, right now I'm selling them pretty much at cost uh, just cost of the material plus some shipping and right now we're shipping uh, everywhere through Europe Australia uh, and North America um, uh, so it's working out well for us but uh, we do ship everywhere in the world if it's not in those places listed um, have a check down below for the link and good luck building and look forward to any questions comments and suggestions you might have have yourself a great day.